if you gave a pill to overweight people that made them magically wake up at their ideal body weight, they would take the pill. I love my body the way it is is just insecure posturing. If Lizzo could look like Gabrielle Union, she would. If James Corden could look like Ryan Philippe, he would. I realize everybody's body is different, but being overweight is over, what your weight should be. For your body, this changes for every person. Full disclosure, I'm about 60 pounds overweight and I'm included in my statement. I don't like the way I look and feel. But I'm not out here like AHH I love my curves. Now cue all the anecdotal, medical anomaly rebuttals winking face. Edit, thanks for the discussion folks. I feel like all dissenting slash agreeing opinions have been voiced from various angles, it's Christmas Eve, my family is here, and my phone is getting blown up. Love your people face blowing a kiss. I hate my body the way it is. Sign me the fuck up. The magic potion scenario is something I always ask myself about every aspect of myself. I don't hate my height, for instance, but if I could take a magic potion to make myself three inches taller, would I? Of course I fucking would. Why wouldn't I? The fact that this is purely hypothetical is what gives people the luxury to say I wouldn't change myself. I saw this documentary about a dude with facial tumors who said that, and I thought bullshit. Loving yourself doesn't mean you wouldn't like to make improvements. I think it's also dangerous because you are giving people an out to not take care of themselves. Man I'm underweight desperately trying to gain weight feeling bloated with food 24-7 for a whole week and still not gaining a pound. Anyone else? You know I have a medical condition, Kyanch reflex. It's where I see fried chicken and dip it in ranch and eat it, reflexively. Sure I could limit consumption and work out a few times a week, but it's easier to blame everyone else than to accept personal responsibility for why I'm not less attractive. The thing about this statement, though, is that we can love things and want to change them at the same time. Love isn't limited only to perfect things. I don't think there's a single person on earth, overweight or not, who doesn't have something they change about their body. I'm a woman who isn't overweight, but I have a list of pills I'd take that's as long as the Charter of Rights and Freedoms if given the chance. Regardless of this, I do love my body. I love it, while simultaneously acknowledging that it is flawed. After reading a few of your replies, you seem to think that loving your body means being proud of it. To me, these two words are not synonymous. You can love something privately, complicatedly, and still be ashamed of it in other ways. I'd compare it to loving a person, almost. We all love somebody that we don't always like. If you gave me a pill that made my sister nicer, or took away my dad's drinking problem, I would take it. But that doesn't mean I don't love them. It just means you can love something and criticize it at the same time. Of course, I can't speak for all fat people, or any, but I'm pretty sure that when they say they love their bodies, they mean they love the positive sides of it. They don't mean it's perfect but it's the body they have for the moment, so they choose to focus on what they do like instead of what they don't. Because really, if taking a pill is an indication of body love, every human being on earth is just insecurity posturing. I'm dieting and exercising and I wake up in a body I love a little more every day, smiley f Well yeah, but you can still love things that aren't perfect. If I could take a magic inch giving penis pill I would, but I'm still happy with it as it is. I agree with up. I was also 50 pounds overweight at one point in my life and am now in the best shape of my life. Being overweight is a self-correctable issue that directly impacts the quality and longevity of your life. There's no reason to view it as anything else. On the flip side, there's never any reason to fat shame people and those who are overweight shouldn't be expected to hate themselves for being overweight. Loving yourself is important though, loving yourself and knowing that you can improve is the magic combo. This isn't that groundbreaking. Of course everyone would want to look the way that would get them treated more respectfully. I just joined this sub 4 days ago and I've seen this exact post about 50 times already. Y'all have any mods around here?
it's important not to have folks to look past unhealthy behavior as simply being different. I disagree with the Lizzo part, she's all about making people feel okay about their bodies, leading by example and loving her own body, which in my opinion is beautiful. Every time I see this opinion, I take a shot of bleach and jump out a building. It's more like that shaming people for being overweight doesn't work. It encourages them to gain more weight by pushing back further into their already bad habits and headspace. Don't you think fat people have enough on their plate without this? Yeah other people have said this already, but you are completely misunderstanding what loving yourself means. It's not about thinking you are perfect, or hell, even thinking you are healthy. It's about being able to still love yourself and be comfortable in your skin even though it's not perfect or even what you desire. Sure they want to be healthier or skinner or more tone, but that isn't going to stop them from being happy in their skin and living their life without living in constant shame of who they are or what they look like. Loving yourself doesn't mean you think you are perfect just the way you are. You can love your body and not love how society judges you for your body, be it weight, height, size of boob slash penis, skin color etc. Drinking that potion might be a way to just get through life easier. It might also to be healthier slash have a longer life, things like diabetes, stroke, heart attack, some types of cancer, etc. are less common in people who aren't overweight. Shout out to slash you slash Apolate for unlocking this. I haven't read all the replies but I appreciate being able to chime in my two cents. If I see this post on this sub one more time. Brave opinion. Slash s. Posting in an echo chamber is also insecure posturing. I love my minivan with 80k miles on it and a tear in the front seat. But if I woke up to a brand new Denali in the driveway you wouldn't hear me bitching. But only if it magically happened. I'm not taking on a 600. Zero zero car payment and all the extra insurance for 6 years to make it happen. I feel like it's very few people that actually think that. I'm overweight too, and working to lose it. I lost 30 pounds last year and still have about 50 to go. However there is such things as different body types. Personally I think the movements to be skinny and hate obesity were actually more detrimental to my self-esteem than someone accepting obesity was. So we need to be careful about how we handle it. There's a lot of people out there who advertise how much they hate fat people. And well. It's actually having the opposite effect on fat people. Not for me it ain't and I'm 360 kilograms I couldn't give a fuck about people's opinions or even my DRS I'm happy with who I am in this body which will sound like a lie when I mention I'm on a diet but been on a diet ain't about been fat or my self worth it's about me not wanting to be dead before I'm 40 so if anything I'm on a diet because I'm selfish. I will agree that there is some who would take a fat pill and these people are the same kind of fuckers who believe the water diet and who think colonic irrigations help you lose weight. I'm fat well morbidly obese but I ain't delusional not when it comes to my weight anyway. I'm balding. If I could take a pill, yes I would but that fantasy scenario, while attractive is irrelevant. As an alternative, when I look in the mirror I challenge the idea that I judge myself the same way that others do. You can want better but be accepting or comfortable with how things are though. I love my house and car but if you offered me a mansion by the sea and a Ferrari I would of course take it. I'm okay with my body too but if you offered me peak Arnie of course I'll take it. I'm happy, confident, high self-esteem, successful, relatively popular, have a beautiful and wonderful wife. But if we're making pills, there's about 10 things of the top of my head I can think of to improve myself. You can love yourself, but still think there's room for improvement. But the reality is that there is no pill, and what they're probably saying is that they have learned to love slash accept their body the way it is within the context of that reality. It's not necessarily insecure posturing, although I'm sure it sometimes is. This post is both stating the obvious and missing the point. Ryan Philippe. LOL. Wow up you're so brave for posting this over the top unpopular opinion. I'm in my ideal weight range. What's the pill do for me? This isn't an unpopular opinion though. Yeah but if you gave a severe burn victim a pill to get rid of the scars, they'd probably take it. 
or a breast cancer patient a pill to give them back their lost tissue, etc., that doesn't mean they shouldn't love the body they're in. I mean, that doesn't mean they can't make a serious effort to become healthier. It just means they can love their body the whole way through the journey. It's unnecessary for a fat person to be self-pitying or hating. Well maybe, but I'm basically okay with my body and I'm not going to change my lifestyle to make you feel better about yourself isn't. I fail to see how somebody loving their body the way it is is somehow insecure posturing. What evidence do you have that shows that is the case, since you've decided to speak in absolutes surely you would have some concrete evidence to show the correlation between loving yourself the way it is and the psychological certainty that comes with that saying. You essentially have to prove that anybody who loves their body and says it out loud is insecure. Good luck with that. What does the pill have to do with this scenario? Almost everyone would take the pill regardless if they are just a few pounds off their target weight or in some cases underweight. Yet I feel people are confusing lots of things. Fat shaming is incredibly stupid and should not exist. 2. Being overweight should not be held against people but it actually is, including professionally. 3. It is important to tell people that are overweight that this isn't the end of the world. But, you shouldn't pretend that you love it either. I don't think Lizzo would honestly. I don't love my body the way it is, but I accept the way it is. I'd definitely take that pill given the chance, but I can deal with how I currently look, without having to change anything.